Bye, Jason. Love you, bro. This is cool. All right, where's a good spot? I'm just sticking on top of this one. Sorry, knockout. We're inside of a container right now. Wow. Fancy. Uh, so happy Monday, world. It's another gloomy day here in Amsterdam. I'm gonna start with a note from the universe because that's something positive, right? If you guys haven't subscribed to Notes from the Universe, check it out because it's so inspiring and it just keeps you in a good mood throughout your whole life. It's tut.com. If you frequently give yourself permission to doodle, to wander and can be totally unproductive, you actually can relish such interludes. I can guarantee that your genius, creativity, productivity will increase exponentially. I've seen it happen a billion times and I totally agree because some people think that you have to push and work really hard and grind. I think grind is such a... I feel so bad for people who push themselves like that because they're just they're just on a track to burning out and I don't think that's a very good strategy to be able to be in the flow when you're constantly pushing to make things happen. Yeah, take frequent breaks, enjoy a little time off, and then you come back refreshed and more excited to complete what you want to create. Yeah, it's just it just makes sense. Don't force yourself to do anything. And then it always works out better. Um, there's a really cool crane right here. And we're in a really cool little container area. So I'm gonna take a little Melvin out here for a little flight. Cause Jason's having a little meeting with uh, Sina from the yoga studio this weekend. They're just chatting about some things and I wanna go for a flight. Look at this dude over here. He's playing with an RC car hanging out of his car. Look how small that car is! Why not? That guy's rolling a joint right there. He's got weed on the table. Maximum tourist mode. Yeah. Look how cool the city is. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen. We have found Holland and Barrett. This was my favorite place when I was hanging out with Sammy and Jane. This store is gigantic. They have everything. What are these, bath bombs? They got frog-shaped bath bombs. They got bamboo pillows. Tomorrow. The city is freaking awesome. The perfect last day here. Here we are, Apple Store Amsterdam. This is insane. They got a glass a spiral staircase. They have space cakes here, weed brownies. Look at this, there's so much weed in here. This whole store is green. It's getting dark. We're going to the red light district <laughs> just to check it out. We have officially arrived in the red light district. The vibe is definitely different here. Time for the final last supper. Oh, I'm so sad. Jason, what are you gonna do without me cooking for you? Oh, I starved to death. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say about all of our adventures the past six weeks? Best time of my life. It's been amazing. Done so much work, but played so hard. <laughs> we accomplished our mission. Yep. We filmed a lot of videos and they're out there in the world for free and we're delivering the teachings to our brothers and sisters and I just feel a lot of gratitude to you for coming to spend the time with me. Oh, to to thanks see, man. I love you so much. It's yeah. been so incredible. It's been amazing. Yes. Thanks for everything. Yes, let's enjoy this dinner. Thank you Airbnb for the wonderful stay. Yes. It's been good. <laughs> Look at Maria's ears are steaming.
Bye, Jason. Love you, bro. Wow. Back in airport travel mode. Here we go. Been there, I just gotta say. My baggage was two kilos overweight. My check-in baggage was two kilos overweight. My carry-on is like, you're only allowed eight kilograms. Yeah, Garnett booked my ticket, and unfortunately I didn't get the fine print. Both of my carry-ons weigh like 40 kilos. And this gentleman named Mike, he only charged me 150 euros for my check-in baggage because I was overweight. I'm just really grateful right now because I could have been stuck in it. I actually wouldn't have been mind being stuck in Amsterdam, but that was a close call. Thank you, Thin Air. Oh my dear Jesus. Tuni Chocolunis is like one of the best chocolates ever. I think, I don't think they have dairy in them. Let me see here. Oh no, these got fair trade milk chocolate. I was just admiring how gigantic this wall is. Holy mother of God. Okay, made it to the gate just in time. And now I'm writing a little review for Mike here on Thin Air website. He was so kind and so opposite of what I experienced in Dusseldorf. And I just want to make sure that his superiors let him know how thankful I am. I'm just expressing a lot of gratitude. All right, new opportunity. Here I come. Wow, I have maximum, maximum leg room here. No window seat, but I'm okay with that. I got my bananas, I got some nuts here. Hanging out here at the Helsinki airport for a little bit. They got a really nice little Christmas installation here. I just met some of the coolest guys on the plane. I always love traveling because you never know who you're gonna meet. These two gentlemen are, were environment, are environmental scientists and they were asking what I was doing because I was kind of writing an outline for my next recap video. Yeah, I just sparked a conversation. I showed them my work and they were totally amazed and they're like, yeah, we should bring you out to India and you can help us make some videos for our company. And I was like, Wow, you never know how it's gonna happen. But it always happens in such a beautiful way. I've been wanting to go to India forever. I've been wanting to go for a yoga retreat, but I thought there had to be like a, a grander reason for me to go, and now meeting these guys, I'm just amazed. All right, Borden, going to Hong Kong. This is a super not full flight, so I just got my whole entire row. Yes! One eternity later. Oh, welcome to Hong Kong. That was a pretty chill nine hour flight. Got some decent rest. Watched this weird movie called I Am Mother. Robot raises a kid since, since birth during a human extinction. The ending was really bad. I feel really unsatisfied with it. Um, it's 8.30 now. Feeling good. Just changed into shorts and sandals. Feels good to be out of the winter, the winter time in the EU. I'm excited for some humid island Hong Kong weather. It's still really hot in here though. Hong Kong International Airport seems pretty chill. Again, yeah, I always think the media always makes always makes things seem way bigger than they are. Last time I came here it was super it was super relaxed. Except during nighttime. Nighttime it gets a little crazy. Oh, Safely made it to Hong Kong. I guess according to Benny things are getting a little crazy out there So I'm gonna make best use of my time and stay inside and work my computer uh, My dad's coming again tomorrow So I'm excited to hang out with him and yeah, I just took a really long nap here and I feel much more Rejuvenated didn't get much sleep on the plane and feeling a little better now you guys tomorrow on the next one Miss you ready Jason, please